we are and uh, who we feel can help us at this point. And there's still a lot of, a lot, few more days of that to go, but the, the key component right now is evaluating our people and making sure once we start preparation for our first game that we've got our people in the right places. Seems like it's been more scrimmage kind of work. This, well, this, we need this it. Is because of the young guys. Yeah, because we're so inexperienced. We need yeah. all those reps are like gold. I mean, they're so valuable for those young kids. Uh, and it's, it's, it's so valuable for us to evacuate too because you want to see how kids respond after they've been out there and they're tired, they've been hit the side of the head. You want to see all that. And as a coach, that's what you learn by watching them practice and watching them do. And putting, them, and putting, creating situations where they have to respond. Is the linebacker rotation kind of coming into focus? Uh, it's getting closer, but there's still rotation there. We're playing a lot of people, and I'm still and uh, looking at a lot of guys, a lot of combinations, just trying to evaluate it all. Like I said, so after the, you know, after three or four more practices, we've got our people aligned just where we want them aligned. We make some decisions and we move forward. I, I talk about El Toro. Uh, he's doing, he's doing he's a solid camp and uh, just working to get better. Where's he been playing mostly? Uh, he's been playing mostly in the middle. But that's not necessarily permanent? No. He'll stay in the no, middle? No, it's not necessarily permanent, no. Because he can play all three of them, I guess, can he? Correct. Correct. Kind of like me.